All right. Check this shit out. Uh, two new little uh, additions to my shop here. I was really, before I get to this, I was getting sick and tired of my old water pan, or water bin that I had, so I made this motherfucker. Um, it has expanded metal there, so whenever I'm done cooling a piece, I can just set it there, or, you know, whatever, so it doesn't drop down to the bottom, because I hate having to fish out parts that fell to the bottom of your water bin. So this thing is working cherry. Uh, it's fully welded all around, inside and out, you know, waterproof and everything. Uh, just has a little stand I made with some uh, six inch channel down there, quarter inch, and uh, 18 gauge 2x2 two two tubing with some uh, one and a half inch angle iron it, to go around it. So that's pretty fucking cool. This is really going to make things easier for me. I don't have to reach down all the way to the ground to do anything with the water now. It's right there where I need it. Um, I just wanted to show how awesome these welds are. Perfect. But anyways, uh, I'm making this new table here to get rid of this old stump. The stump is great. I like the look. I've always liked the the look and feel of wood and steel. I guess that could be my new motto. But uh, it was just annoying. It's not big enough to hold both of my swage blocks, and whenever I have to use that anvil down there, I have to, you know, it's just no good. So this is half-inch plate. It's a uh, two by two square, so it's four square feet. Um, I made the legs at a quarter by three and a half inch square, uh, two feet tall. And inside, I welded a plate that has a nut welded on it. There's some spatter there because these are zinc coated, and whenever you weld zinc, you get spatter. But anyways, uh, this is two by two angle with the nut welded on the bottom there. And the holes all match the holes that are punched in this plate here. So basically I have one that's kind of bolted in, not all the way yet. But uh, that's how it'll look. And this is going to be able to hold both my swage blocks. The inside diameter from this bolt to where this bolt will be is one foot. So I, I can use this for drawing on for pieces and also uh, straightening. Because obviously like this piece right here it's hard to get it straight on you know an anvil that's only four and a half inches wide so now I have a nice thick sturdy table that's gonna serve a multiple uses so I'm pretty happy about that and rock on man you'll see more of this shit later I'll put a little picture at the end when it's done peace I'm moving out the stump right now you can see how big it was <coughs> I know that it's on its side but I wanted to show all that white stuff is mold uh, I'm happy I'm getting this out of my shop. <laughs> but right on. Alrighty, there it is. Got the swage blocks on. Now I have plenty of room. Underneath I have my little anvil and my wood stump. So rock on. That's that. Fucking all for free. Huh.